Good morning, everyone. It's Tracy of Move Daily Fitness. Well, you've joined us on our wellness week. So this week's been a whole week of workouts and wellness tips and concepts. So if you've missed any of the videos and you want to check them out, go ahead and click the card at the top of the screen. That is our playlist for our whole wellness week, and I invite you to check that out. All right, today's workout, let's do a full on strength workout. It's very serious when I slap my hand like that. Okay, uh, no cardio in this one, but believe you me, your heart rate's gonna skyrocket because you, my friend, are gonna lift as heavy as you can, okay? So grab your heaviest dumbbells. Now, have you heard of German volume training? All right, that is a basic premise of 10 rounds of exercise, 10 reps of each exercise. I'm gonna superset two different leg exercises, and then I'll superset a back and a chest exercise. Okay, and that way we're gonna get a lower body blast. So 10 times 10, that's 100 reps. Okay, so that's, you, that's, that's volume, that's German volume training, that's progressive overloading. <laughs> what else is it, Tracy? Anyway, hey, the name of the game and the point is, is that you can put a lot of time under tension on the legs, okay, and then on the back and the chest. So, now, there's no timing on this one. I'm not gonna set a timer because again, it's 10 times 10. So we'll do 10 reps of everything. Try to keep pace with me or if you wanna go ahead and then just rest a little bit or if you're a little bit slower, switch when I switch so that we can stay on the same pace and do the whole workout together, okay? All right, something different and we like different and we're starting right now. We're starting with a warm up, so I want you to get down into this little frog position here. Put your hands on your feet, and you're gonna go ahead and stand, stretch through the hamstrings 10 times right here, all right? So this will stretch out your lower back a little bit, your hamstrings, get those quads burning. You've got five more here. Yeah, you wanna do a good warm up because again, a lot of volume and Heavy weights, I've got 25s and 20s that I'm gonna be using for the whole workout. Okay, that's 10 there, good. Let's get into this kneeling position here. We're gonna stretch the glutes out a little bit by reverse lunging, okay? Stretching that glute there and then back up to kneeling. All right, you've got eight on each leg. Anyway, um, yeah, so as heavy as you can. Now, if you're like, I don't have like light weights, We'll try the lightweights and see, but you know what? If you work out at home regularly, that's part of your mission to put on size, to put on muscle. All right, switch sides. Then you might want to invest in um, a few more weights. Now these ones, I got at a garage sale for cheap, like 50 cents a pound. So you can't go wrong there. And everyone's always willing to sell their weights that they don't use, right? Lots of people have good intentions, but Lots of times those weights just collect dust in the basement. So check out your, your yard sales and online marketplaces for cheap equipment. All right, stand. Let's get into a plie squat here. Low, and I want you to open the chest right here. We'll do a little chest stretch. That's it. So hopefully you've enjoyed this week so far of workouts and wellness tips. I love your comments. You guys are always great about telling me what you think. And by and large, 99% of the time, it's very positive, so thank you for your feedback. All right, let's repeat that once. Get down here and stand for 10. That's it. Yeah, someone asked me the other day, how do you deal with haters? I'm like, actually, there haven't, there, no one's hating. <laughs> so that's good. Maybe that comes when you get a bigger channel. I don't know, but that's, you know, I, I guess you have to just recognize it for what it is. And it's not you, it's just people's opinions and they're entitled to them. And they say, if someone, if everyone likes you, you're probably not doing something right. There's gotta be, you know, switch right here. There's gotta be people who aren't gonna like what you're saying who maybe believe that you should just do all exercise without incorporating wellness or looking at 
you know, dieting as part of the protocol. But anyway, <laughs> what's my point? <laughs> I'm rambling right now. My point is, thanks for not hating and thanks for the encouragement. All right, switch sides here. Wow, quads burn already just on this little warm up. That's how it always is for me, and I think that's why that plyometric workout that we did the other day, if you joined me on that, oh, all of you said that it just burned your legs so bad that round one. I think they just had to get used to all that hydrogen camping out in there, uh, lactic acid in our system. Okay, good, let's go back to the plie. Open up here, take it wide. All right, last 12 here, there's four. Six, seven, eight. Eleven, one more here, and stretch. All right, grab your water, BCAAs, towel. Make sure your weights are handy. And we're starting with our super set of legs. Okay, so we're gonna do 10 deadlifts, 10 goblet squats, and we're repeating that for 10 rounds. I'm gonna get something to help me count, because <laughs> dimes and donuts, I'll lose count, but we're gonna get started right now. Okay, I've got my 10 pens, that's gonna help me count. So let's start off with a goblet squat. Here's round one. I'm gonna grab my 25, I'm just gonna go right for it. 10 goblet squats, so feet are shoulder width apart on this. Standing tall, you're getting low, okay? So basically I'm getting, so my elbows are down to my knees, pushing it back through my heel. All right, 10 reps right here. Good. And you wanna keep your good form about you, make sure you're not leaning forward. And if only you have lighter dumbbells, you could hold two here. All right, last one right there. Good, set that beside you. Moving to our deadlifts. I've got my two 20s. Feet are shoulder width apart, and you're hinging at the waist right here. Reach those hips back as far as they'll go. So there's a slight softness on the knee, but this is a stiff leg deadlift. Three more. All right, good. Back to the goblet. And pen number two, it goes there. Here we go. And down. Last one. And deadlifts. Whew. You can always pause the video and break in between if you need. Stick your chest out, stick your butt out. Go. Three more. hypertrophy, three rounds, 12 reps. Um, this would be our final round. It's always good to switch that up. Like sometimes I'll do four sets, lots of times I do five. That makes a big difference in how I feel the next day, especially when I'm so used to doing the 312. Last one here. Good. Stretch it out. Do whatever you have to. Deadlifts. Now, if you're doing this at the gym and you're using like barbells and going heavier, then you take more rest, right? This isn't very heavy, so um, 
and then I can move into it quite quickly. It's kind of listening to my body. Five more here. All right. I'll set those there. Going into four. <clears throat> Shoulders back, tummy tight. And drop. You can see how this would is gonna overload the muscles though, hey? <coughs> Excuse me. Deadlifts. Knee soft and hinge. Come up and squeeze your glutes. Don't arch your back though. Keep a slight roundedness so that you can really flex those glutes. If you arch, you lose the flex. Halfway. Take a little sip before we move into six. It's feeling good so far. How you guys doing? Okay, goblets. Start. And I really want to think of those knees externally rotating. This is a good time to watch yourself in a mirror to make sure they're not collapsing, right? One more. Nice. Deadlifts. Knee soft and hand. touching each time so I can ensure that I'm getting down using glutes to propel myself back up. Three more.
halfway. Good. Switch. Woo! Three more rounds, guys. We're doing it. We're really doing it. Okay. Ready? In three, two, start. One more. Nice. Whew. Stretch if you need. Okay. Deadlifts. Stick your chest out. There you go. Really put your mind in that muscle. You're working glutes right now. Little hamstrings. Reach your hips back and then contract and push them forward. Three more. Nice. Okay. Doing good. Two more. Ready? In three, two, and squat. gym and you had like nice heavy barbells that this would definitely you know burn in those glutes you'd have to take a longer break last one here this way with a little lighter weight you can move through it quite rapidly um that's still great to switch it up and overload the muscle this way last deadlift here we go Four more. And last one here. All right, get ready for a little upper body. All right, in this superset, you're gonna do 10 bent over rows. So you're gonna stay in a hinge position, rowing like that, I'm gonna use my 20s for that. And then you're gonna lie down on the ground and do 10 chest press, okay? So this might take me a little longer. I've got 25s for the chest press, 20s for the rows, and we'll just go and see how long it takes. All right, chest press in three, two, and here we go for 10. I might have to switch to 20s, we'll see. This is heavy. Four, three. I like it when I'm like, I can do that weight, and then I die round one. All right, hinge forward at the waist, bent over rows here, butt out, chest out, go for 10. Nine, and squeeze those shoulder blades together. All right, 
One down. I'm working on number two. I'm just gonna put them there so I can roll into each other. Here we go. As soon as you're ready. Ten. And there's ten there. Standing. All right, hinge at the waist, butt out, chest out. Ten. There we go. Okay. Woo! Yep, that's gonna be harder than the legs. For sure. Okay, going on three. Get ready. Here we go. Push for ten. Nice neutral neck. Five more. Oh, yeah. Good. Okay. Going on to four. What do you think about this so far? Are you lifting heavy enough? If you don't have really heavy weights, it kind of is like, eh, she's taking too much time in between. You gotta kind of be working to your max capacity here. All right, ready, here we go. Take a little water break. Ready? And, <coughs> excuse me, here we go. Remember what 
muscle you're working here. but now I'm doing 10, so it almost makes you think, am I holding out of myself when I'm only doing three rounds of stuff? Probably. Ready, hinge, row. Two more. That's it, good. All right, moving into seven. Biceps too. I don't know why. Well, the row, I suppose. Ready? <clears throat> and three, two, and go. Push one. switch for the last two, I don't know, it's getting, I don't want to hold you guys up, I feel like I'm going really slow now, ready, here we go, side so I'm gonna switch to 20s. Hinge and row. More no shrugging here. Really to retract those shoulder blades. Squeeze them together. Last four. Three. Two. Up. Ugh. Okay. Rolling those guys out of the way. Going into round nine. Happy for my pens, I would not have kept track very well here. <clears throat> In three, two, start. One. Halfway. okay I'd love to know where you're at and uh, if anyone's going heavy maybe they're you're going heavier than me I'd love to know that let me know okay you hinge at the waist row for ten nine ten okay one more round you can totally see how this overloads the muscles, eh? Holy bicep pump right now. And chest. And glutes. I like it. I feel it. I'm sure my body will be happy tomorrow. Okay, last one. You guys got this? Three. Two. Here we go. Up. One. Six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Nice. Okay. Let's 
Stand up for 10. Oh. Ready, and let's go. Last 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, almost there, two, and one. Woo, good job everyone. If you're still here with me, we're gonna do a bonus superset. So let's throw some abs in here just to finish off this workout. You're gonna do 10 alternating shoulder taps, then you're gonna flip it quickly into 10 bicycles. All right, 10 times 10, let's do 100 reps of each. Ready, in three, two, here we go for 10. Six, five, four, three, two, and flip it over. Give me those bicycles, here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. All right, round two. You, and go. Five. And 10. Bicycles. One. Four, six, seven, and ten. Okay. Three. Don't rock the hips here. Nice control. That's ten. And here. Five, ten. Oh, oh my gosh, it's starting to hurt. Round four. And nice start. There's ten. Whew. Whose idea was this? Let's go. One.
start. One. Two more. Last one and ten. Okay, up. Woo! Number nine. So fun. Okay. Almost there, guys. Here we go. Ten. Ten. Okay, bicycles. Ready? One. Six. Eight. Ten. Oh, oh little ablets. I feel ya. All right, last one. How many was that? 20 more exercises. Our reps. <laughs> Not exercises. Ready. And tap. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and switch. Last one, don't you stop on this one. I'm gonna want to, but I'm not gonna. Ready, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, push, eight, let's go. Nine and 10, oh, oh goodness. You move daily. Okay, let's just stay in this position here. Let those legs fall over, stretch into the lower back into the chest so my other arm is extended out so i'm getting a nice chest stretch a nice torso and glute stretch lower back <sighs> that's good my body feels sufficiently warmed like very like the muscles have actually been working very hard switch sides okay and let that fall oh yeah but again you know if you have really light weights you're probably not gonna feel it as much. Mind you, if you're going for endurance, you're like, you know what, I just want my muscles, joints, ligaments to be agile and malleable and workable, then even doing that with light weights is gonna help them get very used to the, um, like be enduring the exercise. So you, you, when you lift at a light weight and high rep range, you're, you're teaching the muscles to go for endurance. And that's, that's also beneficial, okay. Let's sit up tall. Let that leg come out in front of you and hinge at the waist here. But if you want for hypertrophy or muscular strength, gotta lift heavier and in a shorter rep range, right? Um, so again, even the weights that I lifted today, they were good. Like that chest press one was good for the t what I, weight I had for 10 reps. Everything else was probably a little bit too light. So. That's why going to a gym sometimes might be beneficial, but or investing in heavier weights for yourself at home if that's what you like. I'm actually really enjoying working out at home. I'm surprised about that at myself because normally I'm very motivated by uh, people around me, you know what I mean? Right here. But when I do this in front of the camera for you guys, I actually feel like I know that you're there with me and I know you're going to watch it and do it with me later. So it doesn't feel like I'm alone. You know, do you know what I mean? Is that weird? Um, anyway, it's motivating for me somehow to make sure that I finish it and lead you. Even though I complain a lot during the exercises when they're hard. I, I'll give you that. I do complain from time to time. What are you going to do? It's hard. Switch sides. But uh, yeah, I hope that you're motivated too. And from the comments below, it sounds like it does feel like for you, like you're you're connecting and you're working out with a friend and um, you know, when we talk and tell stories, the, the time does fly by. So I didn't do too much talking today because I had to count. It's hard for me to count and story tell at the same time. Okay, butterfly stretch here. But I'm guessing you probably have heard enough from me this week anyway, as we're winding up our wellness week here. And again, if you miss any of the videos, make sure that you click the playlist at the end of this video and it'll take you to all the videos that you might have missed on our week of wellness, focusing not only on our fitness, but also our wellness to become a better and more whole person, right? Oh, arms back, thumbs down. Do a little bicep stretch right there. 
I think we might be sore tomorrow. I'll be interested to know if you feel this the next day. Okay, let me know in the comments below. Come back tomorrow, let me know. Just say, hey, I can't sit, so thanks for that, lady. Round through the back, last stretch right here. All right, excellent job. As always, move daily in your fitness, wellness, and nutrition, and I'll see you in the next video.